Hey everybody and welcome to this video. This is going to be a get ready with me video but I am going to be using all of the products that I got in this month's BoxyCharm which is super exciting. Honestly I'm not lying to you guys. This was my favorite box I think I've ever gotten. There's every single product in here is a product that I think that I will use and I liked when I used it so I am so excited for it. So um, if you guys want to see how I got this look using all the products from my BoxyCharm plus obviously other products as well, then go ahead and keep on watching and also stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll be sharing my thoughts on each of the products and telling you guys about the product and the pricing and all of that. So um, if you are interested in any of that, then go ahead and stay tuned to the end of the video. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the get ready with me portion.
All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but it has been a couple of hours. I was in that clip getting ready to go to brunch earlier today. So um, it's been a couple of hours since I filmed that clip. So this is what the makeup looks like a couple of hours later. Not as fresh as before, but still looking pretty good. So I'm going to go through all of the different products in this month's box and kind of give you my um, impression of them and let you know what I think. So the first thing here is the Baked Brown Eyeshadow Palette from Dose of Colors. I do believe there was a couple of different variations of this palette. I think there was like a berry palette. Um, I'm, I don't know if it was just those two, but I know some people got the berry palette from them, but this does go for $32, so this by itself is more than the box, and I had seen these palettes before, and I wanted to try them, but I just couldn't bring myself to purchase a $32 shadow palette that was only five eyeshadows, I don't know, I just, some things I'm like kind of like a little bit more like... That's the word cheap, I guess, with. Um, but if I, I, yeah, anyways. But I am excited that I did get this into the palette. These are really nice shadows. I will say that there is quite a bit of fallout. So definitely, I would say put the eyeshadow on before you do your foundation because there was quite a bit of fallout um, the very first time that I used it. But also, I think I was going in a little bit harder <laughs> with the eyeshadow. So either just be like a little bit more gentle when you're picking up because it does have a lot of kickback, which can cause a lot of fallout on the eyes. So just be very careful. But it is very pigmented very soft nice and blendable shadows and a perfect everyday kind of tone so I'm really glad that I got this palette because I think that I will definitely be using it quite a bit so that itself again is already more than you paid for the box so this was $32 the next thing is the touch and soul pretty filter glassy skin balm which looks like this I think the packaging is so cute so it does just have like a twist off top and then there's like a little lid here that you pop off and it's like a cream kind of I wasn't sure what to expect I thought it was gonna be one of those like clear gel type things that you put over top of your foundation or your makeup to kind of give like that glassy skin look but it's actually just kind of like a moisturizing lotion type of primer which I really really liked and I think it really made my skin look super hydrated and moisturized as you saw in the video I looked very nice and moisturized after using this and I just really liked how smooth it felt on my skin it was just it just felt really really good so this itself also retails for $32 so again more than the box just this one item itself so already we're up to $64 from just the first two items so like psh. This is definitely going to be a very good value box. I can already tell. The next thing we have is the iconic London pump plumping gloss. This is the shade that I got right here. And this is the shade nearly nude and I'm so excited that I got this because I love a good nude gloss uh, I think I find a lot of times the colors that I get in the boxy charms aren't really shades that I personally would wear I'm very much a nude kind of girl so when I get like mauves and reds and these crazy colored lips um, I know I'm not going to use some but this I will definitely definitely be using I really like it I did put it over a nude lip liner so you can definitely if you don't like this like pinky tone you can put it over like a brown lip and still get like that same nice glossy kind of color to your lips so yeah this retails for $26 and um, it doesn't have any like super like it kind of feels a bit cooling but it's not like super super tingling or anything like that honestly I don't know um, much for like the plumping effects like I don't really see many changes with that but it is a really nice lip gloss in itself nice and smooth it's not like sticky or anything like that very thin smooth formula and I definitely again will think I will be getting a lot of use out of this product as well so yeah so far so good the next thing that we have is the skin and coal truffle therapy radiant dew mist and I really really was surprised by this product I don't know when I see radiant and dew I kind of tend to stay away just because I do have combination oily skin so I don't really like putting more dewy like products on top of my skin because I feel like that shine is already going to be coming through in a couple of hours but I didn't see anything like super over the top 
dewy or anything like that. I really liked it. I think that it really helped to settle in my powders on my face and um, just kind of felt like any other setting spray to be honest. I really liked it. I like the spritzer on it. I think the mist is really nice. The product itself is really nice and I'll definitely, definitely keep on using it so I really don't have anything bad to say about it. I'm here for it. And this one retails for $35. So all of these products by themselves are already more than the box. So put them all together and you're really getting a fantastic value. And the last thing that I have in my box that you guys saw me use at the very beginning are these tweezers right here, which were a part of the box. These are the Chella Slanted Tip Tweezers. And these retail for $20, which a little pricey for what I would pay for tweezers but um they're really nice like they're very sturdy very nice quality feel at first when I first tried it I don't I didn't really like the shape of it I just kind of was like eh, like this little thing right here but um the more you use it kind of like the more that it feels better like the more you kind of get used to the shape and they are very nice like good quality tweezers definitely a good thing to have honestly I'm not going to say I would go out and buy them because I mean like I feel like you can get other <laughs> tweezers that are pretty good for a little less money I feel like they all kind of get the job done but it's good to have in my collection and it's a really cool design so I'm not mad at it so let's go ahead and add up all of the products and see what the total price of this box was and um yeah all right so we have 32 plus 32 plus 26 plus 35 plus 20. so the overall value of this box was 145 dollars but obviously we only paid 21 dollars for this box so you saved 124 dollars with this box itself and i personally i think this is the first box where i feel like i'm going to get good use out of all of the products Typically with my boxy charms, there is like one or two products that I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know, like probably not going to use it, um, you know, I'll like give it away to some friends and family or something like that. Like it's just not something that I personally would use or feel like I would get a lot of use out of. All of these products I really, really liked. Um, I've used them a couple of times um, and I just, I think I'm just going to keep continuing to use them. I'm going to keep them in my collection and there's not one thing that I'm like, oh no, like... I didn't like so I'm super excited for this month's boxy charm so I just wanted to share it with you guys because I was like really excited and happy for this box so yeah if you guys um aren't a subscribed to boxy charm I'll have a link down below for you to subscribe I believe it will be like a referral link so I do get like some kind of like reward if you guys sign up to that link I'm not really I don't really remember like what the reward is I think it's like some charms or something but if you guys don't want to sign up through my link, then definitely just go on to BoxyCharm.com. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in BoxyCharm, definitely check it out. I've been subscribed for, like, I don't know, maybe, like, two years at this point, And I just, I think it's just super fun. It's, like, a little present, like, a little surprise every month. And you get to new products to play with. And it's just really cool. So, if you guys are interested, definitely check it out. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below to see more videos from me coming very, very soon. And thank you guys so much for spending your time here with me on my channel and watching these videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.